something in common with the beginning of John's Gospel where it says the Word is with God. God's Word breathed out. Referring to Jesus, of course. But the very breath of God, the Spirit of God, Spirit breathed, Spirit inspired scriptures. There, of course, Paul writing about the Old Testament, what we call, how we refer to the Hebrew scriptures, the First Testament. But he himself was writing scripture, and Peter himself, in his letter, acknowledged that what Paul wrote was also scripture. The scripture is useful. It's, it's good for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training. I suppose I divide it into three things. Devotion, devotion doctrine, and discipleship. As I said before, some of them have devotional writings or teachings because they're just kind of a bit warm and fuzzy rather than cold and prickly. But we also need that. We need the reassurances of God's presence with us, His presence in our lives. In addition, we, uh, we need it's very windy here. Uh, the doctrine, sound teaching, we need that as well. When was the last time that you felt rebuked or corrected by a sermon? Maybe too often. Some preachers, that's all they do. Some of us is just so much trying to reassure everyone that perhaps they don't do too much correcting. When was the last time you thought you learned something? about God, about Jesus, from the Word, something new, fresh perspective. And then, discipleship, training in righteousness. You know, if we, if we never hear anything that challenges us, then probably we're not really taking in or receiving the Word of God as the Word of God. It's meant to equip us, it says, for every good work meant to give us the warm fuzzy. It is meant to do that, comfort us, reassure us of God's love, presence in our lives. It's a multifaceted purpose of the scriptures. And uh, I was just uh, listening to somebody who went to a different church once and all there was just lots of stories, anecdotes, which is very entertaining. But they said they never really talked about the Bible. The Bible taught, and we need that again in our personal devotional lives. Are we maintaining a uh, personal discipline of Bible reading, or have we kind of just let it slide? I'm going a different way now. She's telling me which way to go, <coughs> which is what she does, and it's what the Bible does, it tells us which way to go. So, my wife is very much like the Bible in that respect. So that's it for today. I encourage you to pay attention to the Bible, pay attention to it in your personal devotional life, learn some doctrine, learn some Christian teaching. And uh, submit to it for your discipleship, for obedience. Which way are we going now, sir? Can we? Okay. I don't know. 
here we are. Ooh. I've been down here before. And he takes you places you've not been before, doesn't he? Especially during COVID-19. I've never seen this man before. So, Father God, thank you for your word. Thank you for the scriptures. Thank you for all the truth it contains. Help us to pay attention to your word. Help us to pay attention to what you said. Not to shortchange it, not to um, ignore any of it, not to cut out the bits we don't like, but to maintain a completely faithful observance of it. Amen. Whew. So, not sure where I am now. But uh, God bless you, God be with you, and He is with you.